There are a total of 20 wisps within the Carnet Highlands. You can find two of these inside caves, however it's best to leave them both at the end of your search. It's always a good idea to search for wisps at night because that's when they'll be easiest to spot. From the Highlands camp, head to the westernmost part of Heavenward Lookout to grab a wisp on the precipice of the hill. While atop this hill, make your way to Lonely Spring. Head north to the edge of a cliff to collect the wisp. Coming from the cliff, head west by Clamber Clock Cliffs to a nearby pond. You will be able to find the wisp at the center of it. From the pond by Clamber Clock Cliffs, fly south. An aerial view will help you spot the wisp at the edge of a cliff. A wisp can be easily seen floating above a small cliff on Sonorous Path. Simply drop there and grab the wisp with ease. While on top of the cliff, climb back up the Sonorous Path and head west. Along the way, you'll spot trees on the cliff on the right side. Climb to the summit to collect the wisp. Climb up towards the nearby waterfalls. At the crest is a wisp right next to a wild scyther. Fly to Fabled Spring. There is a wisp right next to a tree atop a hill. Continue your search in the southern area of Fabled Spring. A wisp can be seen on a small cliff past the forest. From this point, heading to Summit Camp should bring you closer to the next set of wisps. From the camp, make your way to the Sacred Plaza. At the intersection, head west to the crest of Moonview Arena to find the wisp. Across the mountain is another wisp. It's best to fly to the other side of the mountain to claim it.
From this side of the mountain, head to Celestica Ruins to get to the next wisp. It is placed at the center of a broken down gazebo. While at the center of the gazebo, climb up the hill. Make your way down to Primeval Grotto to get a wisp. Go as to the cliff in Primeval Grotto. The wisp is atop a mound on the surface of another cliff. Fly to the edge of Baldur of Ravine. The wisp can be found at the bottom corner of the ravine itself. Make your way to Stone Tooth Rose. The next wisp is located on the leftmost part of the graveyard right next to Miss Magius. Return to the Highlands camp for the four remaining wisps. From the camp, head to the cliff on the western part of the area. Jump over to the other side and you'll find that the wisp is at the bottom of a cliff right next to the wild gold bath. While in the very same area, another wisp is located at the ridge of the waterfalls. A wisp is found inside the first cave. Simply climb down and head inside. Follow the torches and make a right upon seeing the intersecting tunnels. Get in the water with Basil Legion, follow the trail of water, and you'll find yourself in another section of the cave that hosts a wisp. There is another section to be found in the cave. Follow the trail back to the other side of the pond to find it. Once you've made it out, continue west through Wayward Woods. You'll eventually get to the ancient quarry. The final wisp should be free to grab above two stone blocks near the entrance.